Now, Kiambu has expanded its partnership with private developer Tatu City in a special economic zone. Kiambu County, through its Development Implementation Coordination Committee, has reaffirmed its commitment to Tatu City, the 5,000-acre special economic zone, as it creates thousands of jobs and homes through private sector investment and continues to execute the two pillars of the country's Big Four agenda. Tatu City is Kenya's first operational special economic zone, providing reduced corporate taxes, zero-rated VAT, and import duty exemptions, among other benefits. CDICC, chaired by County Commissioner Wilson Wanyanga, held a development tour of the 5,000-acre special economic zone, where the committee received a progress update of the multi-billion shilling new city and discussed the alignment of key roads, power, water, security, and ICT infrastructure. Uh, we are very pleased that Tattoo City is a project of strategic national importance and as such the government affords us uh, members of the critical infrastructure police unit, SIPU, uh, and we have members of that unit stationed at Tattoo City uh, and that's very much uh, thanks to the intervention of the county commissioner, the administrative police and other, other members of government supporting Tattoo City. So we continue to focus on security, roads, water and power as the key issues. Wanyanga commended Tatu City for its contribution to job creation, affordable housing, and catalyzing economic development in the county by attracting leading international and local investors. He also applauded Tatu City multi-year investment in upskilling the local community to take up construction jobs at the mixed-use development. We've been told about the ones stop to shop. And that's why we are going to assist in ensuring that staff, the various technical officers, are deployed to that one-stop shop. So that investors, when they come here, they go, only go to one place. You present your papers, and they're worked on in one place, as opposed to hopping from one office to the other. More than 60 local, regional and multinational businesses have opened, whereas others have started development at Tatu City. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I am Teresa Mutai.